okay, so we have to solve for i and vx and find the formulas for those ones. So we're given that at time when time is zero, i will be equal to five. So i at zero will be equal to five amps. And we're going to use the following formula to solve for uh, the equation to represent i. So it'll be i at zero times z to the power of t over the time constant. So we know i at zero is five. So that's the first part that's already done. Now the time constant is the tricky part. So the time constant will be equal to the dominant, uh, sorry, the resistance equivalent times the induct. Oh, sorry, my my bad. Uh, it's the inductance value all over the resistance equivalent. Okay. So the inductance value it's two Henrys. Now the uh, resistance equivalent will be the resistance equivalent in the between the inductance value. So let's redraw the circuit. So this is 4 ohms, 1 ohm, 4 ohms, and then 2 Vx. And then uh, this is plus V, and this is Vx here. And we have to find the resistance equivalent between these two terminals. But the problem is, we can't like you know sum up these uh, resistors because there's a dependent source and we can't turn off dependent sources. So what we're going to do is do a test charge, like how we used to do with them uh, resistance. We'll call this test charge one volt. There'll be a, a current coming out of this direction, so let's call it I/O, and the dependent uh, equivalent will be uh, one over uh, I/O. Okay. So we have to solve for I/O. So let's do uh, a node analysis. So let's call this node VA. So let's have a current moving in this direction. Let's call it I1, and a current moving in this direction. Let's call it I2. So I1 plus I2 will be equal to I/O. Uh, so it will be VA minus two VX all over one plus VA minus zero all over four equals IO which will, will which will be 1 minus VA over V uh, over uh, 4 okay now we have to find something to represent this VX so uh, VX will be the uh, difference of 1 minus VA okay so because um, uh, how should I say it so we know uh, Vx is equal to 4 IO, okay, because IO enters a positive terminal here. And we know, uh, so from here to here, from, uh, hold on, from this region to this region, it's going to be 1 minus Va all over 4 equals IO. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do it. So do this like we found the formula for IO now if we do 1 minus VA equals 4 IO IO was VX so this is how we're going to represent VX okay so let's bring this equation down here so it'll be VA minus 2 1 minus uh, VA all over 1 we don't have to really do that then it's going to be VA over 4 equals 1 minus VA over 4. So it'll be VA minus 2 plus 2 VA plus VA over 4 equals 1 over 4 minus VA over 4. Let's collect all our VAs. So these are all our VAs. We're going to move this one to the other side. So it'll be 1 plus 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4. So it's 3.5 VA. And then we're going to bring this minus 2 to the other side. So it'll be 1 over 4 plus 2. So it'll be equal to 2.25. So let's solve for VA. So VA will be 0 0.6428. All right. And now we can solve for IO. So IO will be 1 minus VA. So 1 minus 0 0.6428 all over 4. And this will be IO. 
So our IO is 0 0.08928. So the resistance equivalent will be 1 over that. So that's 11.2 ohms. And now uh, we can put it into here. So the time constant will be 2 Henry's over 11.2, which gives me uh, 0 0.17857. So it will be 5 e to the power of t over the time constant. So t over 0, 0 0.17857. And 1 over, and that's pretty much just uh, 5.6 uh, t. All right, so we got our formula for our current. Now I'm going to erase all this because now we have to find uh, vx. All right, Vx is actually going to be pretty easy. So we see Vx will be equal to um, um, the current passing through it, but the current passing through it is entering from the negative terminal, so it'll be minus i times the res uh, resistance, which is 4. And we know what i is. Uh, we like This is the formula for i. So it'll be uh, minus 20 e to the power of 5.6 t. Oh yeah, and, and this is an amp, sorry, not volts. This is an amp, and then this is in volts. All right? So th these are your final answers.